Todd Hudson. I'm here with Premtech, one of the owners, and we're, I'm going to just demonstrate to you how we're going to put together our new corrugated painted on both sides steel infill. Uh, everything I'm doing now, I'm going to be doing as so that you can know that you can do it as a one-person job. Um, it'd be a lot easier with two people, but this is just a demonstration to show that it can be done with one person. Um, a couple things that you're going to need, and I'll just go through them as I'm doing it. Uh, I just made these. These are little S hooks with stuff I had laying around. And you'll have one for both sides. You're gonna need a two by four. Two by four is just gonna go into the little J or S hooks. And that's strictly so that you'll be able to put the fence together by yourself with nobody around and the wind not blowing it or anything. That's gonna be in there. I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna lay the post, the fence up against it. All these panels, they basically have a shape to them. Um, one side sort of stops before you get to the radius and the other side has part of the radius on it. When you put this fence together, you're going to do all the posts exactly the same way as you do on our normal fence. So you're going to set the posts just like everything. You're going to put the side tracks on like you do with our normal fence. You're going to put the bottom track on like you do with our normal fence. But now with this one, we're going to have, you're going to do a couple things a little bit differently. Uh, one is because you're going to have the bottom posts already in there. You're going to notch the side that goes past the arc right here. You're going to notch that an inch and three quarters up and an inch and a half that way. And you're doing that so that you can slide that straight into this side track. And you're going to do it on the same sides of both. So one panel is going to go this way. The other panel is going to go that way. And it's very simple. Just take regular 10 snips. And since all this fence is together, other than this middle section, I know what the distance is. And so you're just going to go right here. You're going to snip out an inch and three quarters by an inch and a half so that you can put that in there with the bolt already there. You're going to do the top two because the bolt's going to have to go through the top of the panel and you put the top track on and that bolt will not secure the panel so there's no reason it needs to go through this corrugated steel you just need to have a place for it you can if you wanted to drill through here but it's just added work for no benefit once you have those trimmed out you want to put curvature side facing the side that you're going to drill through and slide it into place slide it up in there that board back there is going to protect it from going this direction this board right here is going to serve two purposes it's going to allow me to do this by myself and just put it there so it won't fall backwards in case the wind blows this way and then I'm going to use it in a second. This one I'd already notched. And so again, I have turned it over so that the arc side where I have the most is coming to the side I'm going to put the screws in. here push it down just so it doesn't fall over while I'm doing the others I want the non arch side on the right hand side as I'm walking through when I'm walking through so that I don't see the gap and the arch side on the other side and it's actually going to just slide in just like that but before I do that I'm going to turn this around we don't want we don't want the fence to rattle whenever it's leaning up against each other so we're gonna which we, we're gonna put a small bead of 3n silicone here and a small bead of 3n silicone here and then we will do the same thing On these panels. 
just want to wipe the dust off, make sure that the silicone adheres to where we want it to go. You don't want to put a big bead, just enough so that bead of silicone there. Small bead there. Thing I didn't say for, for sure before, but definitely with the edges, you always want to make sure that you have gloves on. Yeah. Push that in there. Move those over just a little bit. hold into place get your top track don't hit the fence and just work it in till it's down now it's technically together so you're gonna take these which are basically one by three and you're gonna take them around to the back side and use them as support. And all you're gonna really do with these support pieces is you're going to wedge them up here so that you can drill holes and attach your tack, tack screws from the other side and down at the bottom. But all you're gonna do is just take that piece, that piece, put it right up in there, put it in place. You're gonna do the same thing with this bottom one. And it would just go right down here in the, in the exact same place. Push it up against this side, take our hand, Rub down that, seat that glue, find it over here, rub down that, and do the other same on the other side. Then you take a 5 30 seconds drill bit. And right here on the first overlap, self-tappers but it's a lot easier by drilling the hole first because it's you're having to do so many of them go to this overlap and then take the self-tappers self-tappers drill them way too fast and they round before they go through the holes are a little smaller than the self-tapper so if you just take your time they'll bite really pretty quickly and you'll get a good grab So now it's secured there. I'm going to do that on the bottom so that where I put the glue and where I put the overlap is secured right at the very beginning so the glue starts setting. After you put those four screws in, you go ahead and put the bolt in for the top track. All right, 
And now that those bolts are in, then we're gonna go through and every third rib, we're gonna put a bolt, self-tapper. So we're gonna go right here, go one, two, three, there's gonna be one right there. And so over here, one, two, three, there's gonna be one right there. That's gonna be there and over there. They're gonna do that all the way around. Fence will be totally secure, won't vibrate, won't rattle in the wind. I'll do that and show you when it's over with. After we put the bolts across, the tech screws across the top, measure down two, two feet, drill a hole, two feet, drill a hole, then you have three yeah. bolts between there. I pre-drill this hole so that when I'm having to drill through, I only drill through the, the second time, I only drill through the sheet metal. This is going to be beneficial to have two people here because just then I drilled through that without remo remembering to move my spacer to that side so that it was pushing against the sheet metal. So now I'm going to move the top spacer to that side. And I'll do that. Another one there and two over there. But when you're finished, uh, 11 bolts across the top, 11 bolts across the bottom, two on each side, and you won't hear any shaking in the fence, any of this. The regular fence is always going to move a little bit, uh, but this is just a demonstration of how one person can actually do it by themselves. You have it all said and done. You have a 20-year warranty on the fence and a 40-year warranty on the paint of the corrugation, so basically you have a maintenance-free fence for 20-plus years. And... Um, can put it together relatively easy with one person um, just following the instructions that we give you and all the materials that you need to put it together the screws the bolts um, the adhesive all of that is included in the kit and as I said if you buy more than 10 sections of fence then we'll include uh, the J hooks for ins installation by yourself <music>